Will, will you follow me into this little... Yes! 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 So here's the deal. So I, um, I am, uh, like I said, I'm a 26-year-old music nerd. And <laughs> I'm an absolute, like, dork, geek, whatever the word you want to use, use it, go for it. We love you anyway! I'm the most awkward human being you're ever going to meet in your life. And I've come to terms with it, it's totally fine, that's why I try to wear jackets to look cool, but I'm so <laughs> Allowed me to find music and find songwriting. It was life changing, dude. Like it was like it was it was a, it was like it was like finally getting to talk to the world. And it was and when, when I mean I don't know what song I came out. But I didn't know this then, but looking back, the biggest the best feeling in the world was finally feeling hurt. You know. And so when that first record came out, and then you know as we started kind of making like the deluxe record, all that stuff, we wrote this song basically about. You know, the three of our life experiences, our, us three songwriters in the room talked about this feeling of feeling very, very out of place, very insecure, very much like you don't belong, you know what I mean? And I know that even when we feel like, well, even when we think we're in a place where we belong, sometimes that's when we feel the most alone. And I find that incredibly ironic, but I don't find it uncommon. And so I wanted to write this song, and I wanted someone in the world, one person, to hear this message. Basically, it's a message of... It's a message of context, it's a message of perspective, it's a message that wherever you are right now, however hard that might be, that is not your story. That is so just a small speck in the spectrum, that is going to be your beautiful life and your beautiful story. I love writing about that, I love talking about it, this is probably the deepest that we've ever gone, well no it's not, but anyway. But it's the <laughs> second deepest we've ever gone to this topic, I'm proud of it. Because not only was it the first song that we wrote for the second record, which is called Storyline. That was not a shameless plug, I promise. But you should totally check it out. Anyway, um, Storyline has a lot of my heart on it as well, but this song was the first song we wrote for it, and I'm glad we did because it set the tone for the entire record. And this song, I just wanted it on the record. You guys made it our first single on Country Radio and all this be beautiful, really cool stuff. So thank you for supporting this message. Thanks for spreading this message, because more people need to hear it. Whoever needs to hear it tonight, I hope you hear it loud and clear. This is called Invisible. Wow!